Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Hey, Tea Sippers, welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered. And I got my girl, Emily, here with me. Emily, say what's up to the people. Hey, everyone. So it is a lot going on right now. Ciao. Mm -hmm. People are going off about this Dylan Mulvaney situation. Now, let me be honest. I do not check for Dylan Mulvaney. Um, He basically came into, like, my consciousness um, a few months ago, just because he would be trending on Twitter, um, on TikTok. This is a grown man who a year ago decided to show people how to become a woman. And he did this video series on TikTok called 365 Days of Girlhood, where he just decided, you know, he just felt like being a girl and is basically pretending to go through puberty, which is just really weird. Um, he's even, you know, acted like a six-year-old girl. I just find him, I just find him really weird and creepy. And so he's been everywhere from like the Drew Barrymore show. Um, he's been on like Good Morning America. He even met with Joe Biden at the White House. So right Mm -hmm. now he's causing a lot of controversy because Dylan Mulvaney has been given so many sponsorships. It's ridiculous. Earlier this year, he had a sponsorship with Alta, Bo- with Alta Beauty, where he basically spoke about being a woman and wearing makeup and all this stuff. And then later on, he ended up getting like this huge sponsorship with Tampax. And this pissed a lot of people off. He was promoting Tampax and acting like he, you know, had never opened one before. And he ended up getting a sponsorship with them. And it caused a lot of controversy online. So I'm gonna show you guys some of these videos really quick. So let's go ahead and watch some of these here real quick. 75 of being a girl and I've been carrying around tampons and pads for the past two months, but I've actually never opened one up. So let's do it, woohoo. I thought the letter stood for small, medium and large based on the size of your Barbie pouch. But after a Google, I found out it's actually the level of your flow. So they're super regular and light. I guess my question is which one do I carry around? The super? because maybe if you have a light flow, you can still use a super. I don't know. Here goes nothing. It's pink, it's kind of adorable, and it kind of looks like a butter churn. (laughs) So you just go like that. Ow. Where does the string go? You are getting sleepy. Now for the real magic, I've got a glass of water and the tampon. I almost put red food coloring in there, but I thought that might be too much. And we're gonna see how this works. Oh, it kind of looks like a butterfly. How long does it take to get to this? This one looks like it would do the job. I feel like I'm in science class. Oh no. Okay, the pad didn't expand, so maybe this is for a light flow? I just don't know. Now that I think about it, I probably should have had a woman come teach me about these things. I was on the boys' side of sex ed, and now I would like to take the girls' class. Uh, But if you're on your period right now, I'm sending you love. Bye. What the fuck? Child. Then Have his you- ass got drug. This I, this is the world that we're living in. So he basically got drugged for this, and then he comes back with this rebuttal towards women. So we're gonna hear his rebuttal after he oh, got wonderful. drugged all over social media. Like, it, 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 child, you can't <laughs> make this shit up. This is Dylan Mulvaney, a biological man who began identifying as a female just 194 days ago. Now, this man was invited to speak at the 2022 Forbes Power Women's Summit, and his entire talk was about transitioning and social media. He has also been praised by many large brands for his bravery and even walked in this year's New York Fashion Week. Not to mention this man is sponsored by Tampax. The problem with his appearance is the simple fact that he is a man who presents himself as an overdramatized parody of a woman, and it's quite embarrassing. This man came to fame after documenting his creepy fetishized version of girlhood and his videos devalue what it actually means to be a woman. It's offensive to women and if we as a society are going to call anything appropriation, well, 
Here it is. Being a woman isn't a costume and no amount of dresses, surgery, makeup, or anything will ever make you a woman. And pretending that it does is erasing actual women and their accomplishments. When is this delusion going to stop because my culture is not your costume? Wake up. Any one of being a girl, or I'll say woman for this one, because this video is for the women on Twitter who just really don't like me. Hello, ladies. We got a lot to cover, but let's first talk tampons. I haven't talked about tampons on here lately because I don't use them. I'm a woman who doesn't have a uterus. I know this. And science was my strongest subject in high school. I was also shockingly good at math, but I digress. I just sometimes carry one in case anybody needs it. And that seems to have just set the world on fire in some pretty nasty ways. And this is a conversation that's been going on for months. I just haven't chimed in because I'm so tired of sticking up for myself over something that was so pure intentioned. But now Twitter is just ablaze. And this week, there's some women that are now coming for Tampax, and I wanted to clear the air. So I have some amazing news. Are you ready? I have never worked with Tampax before. All right. So you just heard his rebuttal after he got drug all over social media. Mm -hmm. I don't believe for a second that he's never had some type of deal with Tampax because right. there's another transgender man who said that he got a hundred million dollar deal to work with Tampax. You know, at this point, I feel like a lot of these companies, because he does have a huge following, people follow this person. And I believe that they're following him because it's like watching a car accident. It's like watching a train wreck. Yeah. I don't think people are genuinely following him because they even believe the delusions that he's putting out there. Yeah, he reminds me of as soon as he came on or or she. Um, have you ever seen like the remake of uh, Charlie? It was not what. Yeah, the remake of Willy Wonka. So it was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Johnny Depp played Willy Wonka. Have you seen that? No, I haven't seen the remake. Uh -uh, just the original. Oh my, like, I'll have to send you some clips later. But that is what it reminds me of is Johnny Depp as, as uh, Willy Wonka. Like not, not looks or anything, but like the whole, um, the way they talk and the awkwardness and, and all that. That's all I could get was like Willy Wonka. And, and like, anyway. You feel like he's playing a character. He's playing yes. a female character. Yes. He doesn't come off to me as somebody who's truly going through a transition from male to female. It's like he's just right. doing cosplay. Yeah. And then another thing, it, it's okay. I get it. If you keep tampons on you just because, I mean, everybody, I will say at work, I work with a bunch of females. Someone always does need a tampon, but that's not what like they were giving. They were acting like they were going to use it. They needed it, trying to figure out how it worked and all that stuff as if it was an ad for tam uh, what with Tampax or whatever. So it wasn't like, oh, I just keep these just in case anybody needs one. No, you were giving like, I use these or whatever. I need to learn mm -hmm. all about it. The sizes and the flow. And that was like a fucking ad. Right. Like, why would you care if you know that you don't need one? He only tried to come out and say that once he got backlash. Now, what's very interesting now is that this, you know, when it was the makeup with Alton, the Tampax, most people were like, you know, most of the men just really didn't care. They basically ignored Dylan. But um, now that Bud Light is now trying to, quote unquote, go woke, it looks like a lot of the male collective are trying to make Bud White, but, excuse me, Bud Light go broke. And so oh this is causing a lot of controversy right now with people who are boycotting Budweiser. Um, Kid Rock even shot a bunch of Bud Lights because he was oh. so good. <laughs> yes, it's a mess. And, you know, Dylan came out and said that he's now the face of March Madness Bud Light. And at first people thought it was a joke, but Bud Light confirmed that it's a real ad and that they really did get, you know, Dylan Mulvaney to sponsor it. Which to me is very interesting because this person is not into sports and doesn't even know what the hell March Madness is. So we're going to go ahead and watch this clip here real quick. Grandpa is feeling a little frisky today. Let me uh, say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. Bud Light and Anheuser Bush. Have a terrific day. Hey, 
impressive carrying skills, right? I got some Bud Lights for us. So I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to celebrate. This month, I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood, and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light. I am at Kate Spade, New York to find the perfect spring outfit. Let's go! Kate Spade, New York is a staple in my wardrobe, and I think I absolutely need to have this as my spring bag. The mini bags are in. They're in. Let's go. You know I love pink, and I think the bag will go great with this. Let's try her on. You can always use another pair of heels, right? Honestly, I think I'm going to wear this out of the store. So happy spring. I love you. I love you, Kate Spade, New York. I am Elliot. I am six. I'm a city child. I live at the Plaza Hotel, which is huge and wonderful and trace elegant, especially at Christmas time. God, I love native deodorant. I just wish it smelled like candy. Dylan. Did you just say you wish for a candy-scented deodorant? Yeah. Try this. Native candy shop collection and gummy bear scent? Just try it. Okay. Here you go. Oh, oh. I usually don't accept candy from strangers, but thank you. Wait, who even are you? Don't worry about that. Just enjoy the native products. Love you. Love you too. All right. What the fuck? That is fucking insane. First of Ooh. all, uh, <laughs> it, it it seems like a joke at first. Like it's like is is this or like are they serious? Is this a joke? And then like it get it got really dark. Like when he was pretending to be a kid and oh I don't accept candy mm -hmm. from strangers. That's my first time seeing this person and and, and all that. So I I'm like shocked. What's really bothersome to me as a quote unquote influencer, especially a black influencer, so many of us can only wish to get these type of sponsorships. You right. know, when we get sponsorships, it's usually something simple, Hello Fresh, <laughs> Blue Apron, and yeah. it's usually only for a few thousand dollars. This cosplay plain weirdo has been able to get Kate Spade Pont uh, Kate Spade sponsorships. Um, Bud Light, I mean, some of the biggest names and he's raking in the revenue and I'm not mad at him per se, because if they're dumb enough to, you know, cut him a check to pretend to be whatever that's on them, you know, he's going to go where the money resides. So I'm not yeah. mad about that, but I find it very interesting that someone like me and someone like you who are biological women, I've been a biological woman for, I don't fucking know. 40,000 <laughs> something days. I mean, who knows? It's been more than 365 days that I've been a woman and I've never been approached for any of these type of deals. Have you just for being a woman? No, absolutely not. Nobody gives a shit about that. <laughs> right. And, and what else is very disturbing to me is how as a grown woman, I can't turn around and pretend to be a six year old. I yeah. can't turn around and pretend that, hey, I want to be 13 today because I feel like I'm 13 and somebody's willing to pay me money to act like a 13 year old. I'd be clowned and called a weirdo. Like, no, you're a grown woman. You're a mother. You're not 13. Why is this man able to play one minute an adult woman who can legally drink beer in the bathtub? Uh, and period. The next minute, right. The next minute acting like a, a prepubescent girl who doesn't know how to put a tampon in her cooch. And then the next minute, oh, you know, here goes some gummy beer scented, you know, deodorant for the little tot. And then the next minute he's playing a six year old, you know, romping through the hotel plaza in New York. Like, what is this? Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts. Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.